This is Ender, and I'm back with another one lap. This time we're on Lava Storm. It's an interesting map. Uh, it's a volcano surrounded by water, basically an island. And uh, there's spots of lava, spots of rock, lots of mines, and a lot of heat. So uh, let's get to it. You start here in this uh, platform. Kind of hard to show you. All the racers start on this platform. And there's going to be a little ramp we go down here. You can also just jump. See how far I can get before I overheat. Not betting very far. I boost, boosted up the heat sink on this thing quite a bit. But I'm not sure how much it's going to help. little wall here was added in an update to the map at one point to stop people from blowing up the turrets too early. Come around this turn, there's this bridge here, which uh, I can get to it without blowing up. It tends to be blown up very quickly. And the bridge goes over actual lava. And if you run through this lava, you start taking damage. You see my legs taking damage there. And your heat skyrockets from it. Yeah, I'm just going to take a nap. Now that lava can be found all over the track and it does just tremendous amounts of heat and leg damage. And pretty much if you get stuck out there and you shut down, you're dead. Because the heat will keep generating and keep damaging your legs and you'll be destroyed before you can wake up. Even with coolant. Like, I'm already out of coolant. Just from the mines, so... Shut down imminent. And that heat just skyrockets you. And I'm probably going to go get another mech here. Just, just to make this easier. Otherwise, you're going to see a lot of me sleep in this, this uh, lap. So. Hadn't gone far, so we'll get right back there real quick. Anyway, this map probably has one of the highest heat scales of any map you're going to come across. And uh, what that means is, if you're running lasers, or ha even if you're running other weapons, you are going to, once you get hot, you stay hot. Warning. Heat exceeding recommended level. And it takes a while to cool down. So just a reminder, if you're going to be running a, an energy-based mech. So now you can see some of our turrets here. There's a bunch out on this little oil rig platform. If I can go five minutes without hitting in mine here. Slow down a little and let our cooling come back up. Got another calliope off there in the distance. These little uh, torches here mark the boundary of the track. If you go beyond that, there's actually water and if you fall down in the water you'll get stuck and have to eject. I know I'm coming to some more mines. Got another calliope up there on the ledge. There's some ruined buildings down there that kind of slid off the island. We're going to let our heat come down. There are a few shortcuts on this map. Um, you got to watch the shortcuts though, because if you land in the lava, like this whole field over here, and I'm sure I'll hit another mine before I get there, it's all lava. Anywhere out there, you're going to take damage from walking. And it adds up quick. And you're in the corner. This is the hardest checkpoint to see. This one's half covered by lava, but there is a checkpoint here. And again, these towers are your uh, boundaries to the track. You got the one there and the one there. You want to go in between those to score. If you're out there in the lava field, you are not going to be scoring. And I am not going to make this lap on what's left of this mech. The gantry out there with some more weapons on it. Auto cannons, last cannons, you name it. And I think one more mind is going to kill me. Got the big wall of death right there. That's a lot of fun. Usually takes out a couple people. And I was right. One more mind took me in. So I'm going to pause for a minute and catch back up to where I was. Okay, so here I am back out to where I was. And I managed to find a couple more mines on the way out here. So I'm still in pretty beat up shape. But anyway, 
Like I said, you got the deep water over there. Some ruined buildings. There are some turrets hanging out on those ruined buildings you gotta watch for. Lots and lots of mines, lots and lots of heat. Here's the next checkpoint. Now you have a choice here. This is kind of an iffy 50 50 chance here. You can run that way around, which is pelted with mines, but once they're clear, it's a pretty safe route. You got a few turrets to take out. Or you can take the quick route, which is through here. Now this whole side of the hill has been mined and tank trapped to slow down people from hill hugging. But you can go through the middle here. And as I blow up a giant mine, if you have jump jets, you can skip from hill to hill. However, if you fail one of your jumps, that lava will eat you and overheat you like I think it's about to do to me. Go some leg damage. Kind of hang up up here until my heat goes down. Anyway, you get the point. If you stay in there, you're going to overheat. There's no question about it. And I may not make it out of this. Don't shut down in the lava. Don't shut down in the lava. There we go. Let the heat come down. I'm sure there's some more mines up here. But again, that's where the, the track loops around the outside. Comes back to join here. And there's your last checkpoint. There's that little starting grid that you start on. Then we're going to run around here till we get back to our first checkpoint, which will actually be the finish line. Like I said, you can go all the way around to the left there, or you can jump across. I think jump jets are almost a must-have on this track. And there's your finish line. We can get over there without blowing up. Can we do it? Can we do it? Yay! So there you have it. That's one lap on uh, Lava Storm. And uh, we'll see you in the next track.